Good morning, YouTube friends. My name is Rosalind. Today I want to talk to you about making your own homemade face scrub. And also I want to talk to you about the benefit of using olive oil soap on your skin. So today we're going to start out. You need two white face cloth. I like to use white. That way um, I know that when I wash my face that I'm using a white face cloth. There's no dye in here. It's nice and it's clean and I can see if anything, any kind of spots or anything is on the white face cloth. Also you need vitamin E oil, pure vitamin E oil. You can buy this at the Whole Food store. You need honey. You need grapeseed oil. I love doing grapeseed oil scrub. Grapeseed oil is good for the collagen in your skin. It's also tighten your skin, nourish your skin, and smooth your skin. And also you need some warm water. And you need some cool water. Also, you need some yellow cornmeal. Now, I like to use cornmeal. I have made a lot of scrubs uh, with sugar, fine sugar, um, brown sugar. But to me, I found um, using cornmeal uh, acts as a exfoliation too for the skin, and also too is more durable. It is more pliable for the skin, and you can spread it on very good. So for time's sake, what I did is I put a tablespoon of cornmeal in the bowl already. I already have it here in the bowl. Okay, so you need one tablespoon of cornmeal. Also, you need two drops of vitamin E oil. You know, vitamin E oil is very good for the skin. It smooths the skin, it nourishes the skin, it replenishes the skin. Also, you need a teaspoon of honey. Honey as well is good for the skin. Honey acts as a moisturizer. So sometimes you can even apply just the honey on your skin. If you don't want to do a scrub, you can just take some honey and just rub all over your skin and let it sit for about five minutes and then wash it off also you need the grapeseed one teaspoon of grapeseed oil you put it in and two teaspoon of cool water for your mixture Now, what you want to do is mix it all together. And it should have the consistency of like a paste sort of look. It's mixing very well. I tell you, after you do this scrub on your face, you'll be bragging about it all day long. You'll be feeling your face, feeling how soft it is. But it's a nice scrub to do in your own home. So this is the consistency you need. Now, after you mix that all together, what you need to do is set it aside. And now you need to um, get any residue off of your face. Um, any makeup or anything anytime before you do a scrub you need to clean your skin before the scrub so what we're gonna do now is use this olive oil soap this olive oil soap is made with coconut oil olive oil and soybean oil very good for your face very very good I recommend this soap olive oil soap thank you now for time's sake what I've done is cut it in half so you got your two bars. So now I'm going to place it in the water. Take one of my nice white face cloth. Place it in the water. I 
and just wash my face gently before I pr uh, proceed to do the scrub. Take the cool water. And rinse off. Okay. Now that you've done that, now your skin all ready for the scrub. So, go ahead and stir it up again. And now what you're going to do, just take two fingertips or three and just kind of grab a little bit and just rub it on your face. Go all around gently and you want to go in an upward motion. Upward. You want to pull the gravity up. You don't want to go down. You want to go up. Go around. Stay away from the eyes. See how nice it's looking to stay on your neck. All around your neck. Gently. A circular motion here upward pulling the skin upward okay now that you you have some left over you can also put it in a container and store it in a refrigerator and the next time when you get ready to use it just put it out like 10 minutes before you do your scrub for the day so put that aside now you want to wash it off again You want to use your warm water to wash it off. How are we doing? I hope everybody doing very good. On your neck. Make sure you get it off very well. Very good. Now you want to take that second white cloth and just pat dry. And anytime you do a scrub on your face, you have to put a moisturizer on your face afterwards. And I have this great moisturizer made with shea butter, grapeseed oil, which I love. And you just apply just a small amount. And you go upward. Pulling the gravity up. Oh, 
okay all is done you just did your mini facial thank you so much for tuning in with me today on my how to make your own face scrub thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel which is glow essential and you have a wonderful wonderful day